Welcome everybody to the Drastic G channel. Today we've got an exciting video. Normally we just go treasure hunting with magnets and grappling hooks. But today I brought my very own little submarine. This is how I can see what's in the water before I fish it. I've got, um, got a GoPro camera on with a torch. Then I've got a little Wi-Fi camera so I can see from the control box what's under the water. Then obviously you've got the motors and propellers. I'll briefly show you how I made it in this video. But if you want to see the full build video, that's on my second channel called Drastic G Projects. And I'll link to that video in the description and at the end of the video.
almost finished the drone and your buddy fell off the workbench and broke the propellers. The propellers took a few weeks to come from China. I want to test it this weekend, so I'm going to have to budge it with a bit of hot glue and see if I can get these attached. Hey, jobs are good in. All I gotta do now is test the drone out in the water and get it balanced. Because with the cameras on the front, it might be nose heavy. Um, but I'm gonna test that in um, a big tub of water, get it balanced, and then we'll get it in the roofers. So I just come to the first lake to test out the drone but the visibility is really bad because of the recent rains so I'm going to try a river and uh, hopefully the visibility is better So my second location is this canal It has recently been dredged so I don't think I'm going to find much So I just want to see if the submarine actually works and this is probably the best chance I've got to actually see it working So let's try it out So I'm just putting the GoPro in the waterproof camera case Got it Yep. So set it at an angle so I can see down. That's on. I'm going to put the battery on. So negative, positive. If the cable's on, whoop. <laughs> Got start already. So we're going to switch the Wi Fi camera on. As soon as it turns blue, then I had to put the Wi-Fi on my mobile phone. Connections. In scam, which is that one. It's on. Now I have to find the app. In scam app. It's connected. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to modify that. It's because every time I close the lid it it down so it's a bit, a bit clean yeah look at that you can see <laughs> that's weird anyway let's get, get it tested out Go for it. Whoop. Let's get this tether out. Oh, I'm 
mud everywhere. So I didn't put on, I didn't put the light on the camera. Put the light on so we can see. <laughs> Look at that. Right, let's do it. She's moving. <laughs> it's working. That's brilliant. Turn him right. Very slow. Let's forward. See if we can dive. Where she's going. Let's stop that. Let's send it down. So it's going down a bit. It's going down slowly. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but I wanted it a bit more buoyant so it could actually come up. If obviously the power died, I want it to float to the top. So now I've got a few issues with the submarine. I don't need a prop guard, I even need more powerful motors, preferably brushless or smaller propellers. Um, and there's a few little tweaks I need to make before I go on to make a bigger and better version of this. If you've got any suggestions for the next submarine I make, um, let us know in the comments below. If you want to see more crazy videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell and then you get notified every time I upload a video, which is generally Wednesday at 6pm in the evening.